Welcome, everybody. Thanks for joining us for NBA Action on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan along with Greg Anthony and Greg Beard. David Aldridge will be reporting from the sideline. Last doubting for Orlando, the wash to the Heat in Miami. Uh, in the NBA, you've got to keep pace. It's a fast track out there, and I thought their lack of hustle defensively was the story of the game. Now you can't allow any opponent to shoot that kind of percentage. If you do, it's just going to be so tough to keep up. A look at the Magic starting group. At the four and the five, we have Gordon and Bucevic. Fultz and Ross pair up to make the backcourt. And it's Isaac in at the three spot. Here's Ibaka. That's in there. Conley with the assist. And the lean frame of Ibaka taking the punishment but still converting the basket. Toughness. Now here's Fultz. A wide open look here for Vucevic. A three-pointer no good. Anthony against Vucevic. Anthony, the pass to Fournier. Tries again. And it's Ibaka getting it to go. And the ability to generate points off offensive rebounds. Something Ibaka did a lot earlier in his career before he started spending so much time on the perimeter. Fultz against Conley. And two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. And there's the call hard for the foul. Orlando shooting their first shots from the stripe in this game. And last season, 77% from the line. They could usually get the job done there. The first one falls. And the explosiveness of Fultz really is incredible. Just He's effortless in terms of getting where he wants on the court. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Outside Fournier. And the three ball is good. That was like a morning paper for Jeff Teague. Makes a great read and swings the ball around for a clean look at the bucket. A good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. Hartford on top. They're up by three. And we'll be back with you for the start of the second quarter when we return. Some good action already in this one, but a fairly even matchup after the first quarter of play. And what do you guys think about Hartford here in this one? Well, they've been aggressive from the beginning, particularly on the offensive end. Well, if they wanted to start well, this would be it. They seized momentum right away, and they just didn't let it go in that quarter. In a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. And so in the game for the Magic, Vucevic is out there with Mohamed Bamba. Then there's Al Farouk Aminu. Then it's Carter Williams. And it's Augustine in at the one spot. Well, that's when you love to see the strength of Dwight Howard marching through the defense and just ripping away the second chance opportunity for an easy score. And there's the call on Howard. That is his first foul of the game. And a new group getting ready to come in for Hartford. Serge Ibaka has checked in for Howard. Bobby Portis comes in for Thompson. Porter's checked in for Rudy Gay. And it's Mike Conley in for T. Orlando also making some changes. Gordon's checked in for Vucevic. Isaac comes in for Al Farouk Aminu. And it's Ross in for Michael Carter-Williams. Now they're playing working to perfection there if that was their plan. And if it wasn't, maybe that should be their plan. Conley against Augustine. Passes it to Ross. Shoots over Fournier. And it's Hartford bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. They've been playing some inspired defense, giving a very few easy points. And we'll be back with you shortly. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back to 2K Sports, everybody. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Let's talk about some first half. Such a steady floor general, Mike Conley. Kenny, talk about what he does for your offense. He's the pace setter. The guy can set the pace for your team. He moves the ball well, and he's going to make sure you get great shots. He's a good and that's a wrap. With the third quarter approaching, we now send you back to Kevin and the crew.
And we've got third quarter of basketball for you. Two quarters in the books. Nice game. Great performance by Evan Fournier. Yeah, and the numbers don't jump out at you, but the impact on the game sure does. Well, the commitment he has to fill his role and consistently fill that role, that's what that team needs from him. And so it's Anthony bringing it up for Hartford. Seven-point game, the biggest lead in the game. Michael Porter's out there with Anthony. Then it's Evan Fournier. Then it's Ibaka. And it's Conley in at the point guard position. And it's the Magic's ball. And for the Magic, Fultz and Ross pair up to make the backcourt. At the four and the five, we have Gordon and Bucevic. And it's Isaac in at the three, the small forward. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. And early in a game, these sorts of plays really can set the tone. Here's Aminu. Carter Williams with it. Now Anthony defending. Six to shoot. Wide open. Misses off the left iron. I didn't see that miss coming. I mean, he's usually been muddy from that range. Thompson finds Teague. Back to Thompson. Outside Teague. Down low. It's tipped. And love how high Fultz gets on these rejections. Utilizing his terrific length to spike shots back. To the inside. Vucevic. And slam dunk by Vucevic. This can make it so much easier for your teammate when you throw that lead pass that gets to him right on the money, whether that's on the run or in the shooting pocket. The third quarter comes to a close. Hartford leads by five. And time for the short break and stay right where you are. The fourth quarter is coming up next. And let's take now this moment to bring up our State Farm assist of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Well, a great job with the eyes. And what separates great playmakers, as we know, is peripheral vision. And with three quarters behind us, we start the fourth quarter in what is still anybody's ball game. Baca is out, out there with Howard. And there's Teague. Then it's Michael Porter, and it's Fournier in a two-guard. Now a timeout called by Orlando. They're trailing by five. There's 53 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Well, I was able to listen in on what Steve Clifford had to say to his team. He talked about X's and O's, but he also said, Hey guys, we got to trust each other, stick together, and leave it all out on the floor. We'll see if they've got enough left to get over the top, Kevin. And really, at this stage of the game, to get those kinds of offensive rebounds for putbacks, you almost feel like it's a four point swing. Yeah, and you know who your Warriors are by plays like that. They make it when it matters most. It's a hand on it, and Porter putting it right back and in. Yeah, Porter working very hard to keep the play alive and come up with some point production. Here's Augustine bringing it up now for Orlando. It's a five-point game. 24 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Good! Time out, time out. What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. Can't afford these defensive breakdowns, especially down the stretch. Yeah, breakdowns like this are only going to hurt you moving forward and late in the game. Establish some trust and make the defense come together. And Hartford calls time here. They're in front by three. There's 21 seconds left in the game. And 
now, let's present our New Balance Player of the Game, Kevin Fournier. And he's just been crushing it from the field tonight, Kevin. Whether it's been on open looks or with the guy draped all over him, he just hadn't missed much. With his percentage in the sky-high range, they've had no choice but to make him their number one option on every trip. That's right. No other option but to foul and hope for some misses. And Hartford calls time here. They're ahead by three. 20 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. And they go to the intentional foul. First free throw is good, and that gives them a four-point cushion. And T can be a knockdown shooter, especially from the free-throw line. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a five-point game. And those free throws will mean a ton now. It makes it a two-possession game. Time call here. The Magic decide to talk it over. They're trailing by five. 19 seconds left in the fourth quarter. What's your take, guys? Score, then hope for some missed free throws or a turnover at the other end. Yeah, this, this won't be easy, so a, a little bit of luck will go a long way for them to get back in. Team seconds left in the fourth quarter. I yeah, love watching Isaac find the open teammate. Has great floor awareness out there and just knows when one of his guys has a clean look. We're in total command of this game with time starting to run out. Yeah, looking for a miracle worker out there is the opposing coaching staff. I don't know that they have one. This game seems to be well in hand. Pass to Isaac. Here's Fultz. Ross for three. Can't connect. And so it's Hartford with the win. They didn't make it easy on themselves or their fans. But in the end, everyone's satisfied. I mean, there were some times that, that momentum shifted. And, and, and especially.